Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So it's time to talk about what is next for the Portland Trailblazers, man. Portland, they decided to draft school Henderson at pick three instead of trading the pick. And this is something I can fully get behind. And the reason why is simple. They're doing what's best for the organization. I understand, you know, Damian Lillard, this is a top 10 talent, superstar, box office. Dame is that dude. Plain and simple, you feel me? And when you got a player like that on your team, that is loyal and committed to your team despite... How many times you fallen short? Even falling short in the playoffs? When you got a, t- a player like that that still wants to get the job done, you want to keep him around. You want to make him happy. You want to give him a chance to truly win. So that's why they were trying to shop the third pick and then Fernie Simons to build a contender around Dame. But let's be real, that was some goofy shit. That was some dumb shit they was on. You see, it didn't happen. That was some dumb shit. And the reason why it was dumb is simple. You have to qualify to get the third pick in the draft. You're not about to just get the third pick in the draft, make a few moves with that third pick in and Fernie Simons, and just all of a sudden skyrocket to a championship level team. Doesn't work like that. Especially when your team is in Portland. You're a small market team. Ain't nobody coming here unless y'all draft them or y'all trade for them. You feel me? It's plain and simple. So I'm just happy they didn't do that dumb shit. It's so much risk into building a championship team, bro. So much risk. Let's look at some of the players that were available and are still available as of right now. Bradley Bill was available. Bradley Bill, he's a dog, but he's been suffering from injuries. And we've seen him with a player similar to Bradley Bill like CJ McCullough, and they still didn't win no championship. They came close one year on some fluke shit, but hey, they still ain't making it to the championship. Porzingis, he's a cool dude. Porzingis does not impact winning, though. We've seen Porzingis with Luka. If he can't hoop with Luka, he not, looping, he not hooping with Dame in him. Levine. Levine already on a good squad. They not winning games, man. Carl Anthony Towns. Soft. I wouldn't even waste my time. Paul George. Yeah, you know, Paul George, the idea of Paul George sounds great. Paul George can't stay on the court. Paul George has fallen short in big moments as well. Zion. Come on, Zion. This is this Zion, if he can actually live up to the potential... He will be a dog, you feel me? And this is something that could be good for their team now and the future, you know? So I wouldn't have been completely against that team, I mean, against that trade. But also, if you traded for Zion, you're also banking on his health. And he's not proven to be a healthy player at all, you feel me? And then Tobias Harris, come on, we not doing that, you feel me? So none of those players was going to shift this team as, oh, we can add the role players they would have got as well. That was not shifting this team to a championship team in one year. You don't have time to waste, especially when you make those type of investments, bro. Dame is 33 years old, about to be 34. The window of Dame playing at the level he's been playing on is very slim, and he's starting to deal with injuries himself. You feel me? So why make such a dumb decision for now when your team is not built to win now? I can see if you had LeBron on the way in free agency or KD or Jokic, you feel me, or Luka or Giannis, you ain't got none of that. You just shooting for the stars at this point, man. Come on, that would have been dumb. I'm glad they didn't do that dumb shit, man. So now it puts Portland in a good position because now they got Scoot Henderson. Scoot Henderson is a point guard, but hey, he's probably going to play the shooting guard if Damian Lillard stays, you feel me? Or they go work him into the rotation. But regardless, bro, they got their potential future superstar on their team. If he really just lives up to the potential, you know? So this gives Dane the option to stay or leave. If he stays, that's what's going to happen, you know? He's going to probably play the two or work his way into the starting lineup. And, hey, if Scoot Henderson can impact the game immediately, I'm talking about immediately, like 20 points per game type dude, then, you know, Portland can probably make some decent noise. It's still going to be hard for him to be a championship team in one year. Let's just be realistic. But realistically, with them making this decision, Damian Lillard is not going to be on the Portland Trailblazers too much longer. Right now, he's currently thinking about if he's going to stay or leave. That's just for this season. You feel me? Come on, Dame might be gone at the trade deadline. Dame might be gone next week. I'm just being real. You feel me? Dame might be gone next year. Dame is going to be out of here soon. And this is something that was going to happen if they made the trade with the third pick or not. You feel me? So that's why I'm glad they kept the pick and they're already starting their future. They got they got Infernie Simons to pair with Scoot Henderson for the future and Shaden Sharp. 
They already starting off nice. It's, it's just good to see they didn't set themselves back, you know? So, yeah, Dame is going to be gone within these next three years. I don't see him staying there any much longer. Maybe another year. That's about it. This team is not built to win no championship, especially when you look at the West. Remember, they got to respect Denver. They got to respect them because they just won the championship. On top of that, they got to respect Phoenix. Phoenix just got Bradley Beal, bro. They got to respect Phoenix. They got to respect Golden State always. You always got to respect Golden State until Curry and them done. The Clippers, even though they can't stay on the court, who knows? Maybe they can stay on the court next year. They're better than this team. The Lakers, as long as LeBron's in the league with a decent squad, you got to always look out for the Lakers, bro. And then you still got to worry about Boston out east. Boston just got Porzingis, you know? My Cavs, they up and coming. The Knicks doing decent out here. You feel me? Miami just made the finals. Miami's better than Portland. Come on, man. Oh, and let's just say Zion is able to, you know, stay in, um, where is that, New Orleans, and get healthy. You got to worry about the Pelicans, man. It's a lot of teams that's already got shit going on. And Portland don't got shit going on, man. It's plain and simple. So, I'm glad they tra- they didn't trade that pick. And I'm glad they drafted School Henderson. Because now, they have a lot of control about their future. And they can play things how they want to play. Because they're going to get a, a, a haul for Damian Litter whenever they're ready to make that trade. They're going to get a haul for Dame. And that's going to also help their future. Plain and simple. So, smart, smart shit by Portland. They haven't done anything this smart in a long time. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How do y'all feel about what Portland is doing? And what do you think is next for them? And what do you think is next for Damian Lillard? Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.